Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 21. Today we'll evaluate some algebraic expressions. Here's the problem. We are told that A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 1, X is equal to 5, y we are told is equal to 3 and finally z z happens to be a big fat 0 the question is based on these values of variable what are the what are what are what are the values of the following expressions i'm going to put them down on the blackboard and then you do them yourself okay here's the first 4x x squared 3 times ac a squared and 5 times b times y times z. Do them yourself. Pause the video if you have to do if you have to. These are very simple, very straightforward. They shouldn't take more than a few seconds. 5, 4x, which is same as 4 times x, we know is, is 5. 4 times 5 is going to be 20. x squared, x is 5. 5 squared is 25. 4 times a times uh, 3 times 3 times a which is 3 3 times a times c which is 1 so 3 times 3 times 1 is just 9 a squared a is 3 so it's 3 squared which is 9 and 5 times b times y 5 times b 5 times b times y times z what we have to understand what, what we have to realize here is that it doesn't matter what the value of 5 times b times y is at the end we're going to multiply it by z z appears in the expression, z we are told is 0, any number times 0 is 0. So 5 times b times y, it doesn't matter what that is, times 0 is just going to be 0. Let's do next 5. Let's do next 5. b squared 3 times b, 2 times x times a, c times 6 times c squared times z, and 4 times y squared. b squared, b we know is 2, so it's 2 squared, 2 squared is simply 4, 3 times b, 3 times b, 3 times b, 3, times b which is 2 is just going to be 6. 2 times 2 times x times a, 2 times x which is 5 times a which is 3. 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 times 3 is going to be 30. Again we see a z. If you see a z, you don't have to do any work. It doesn't matter what c squared is. c squared times 0 because z is 0. c squared times 0 is just going to be a 0. 4y squared, 4y squared, how much is y? y is y is 3, 4 times 3 squared, which is same as 4 times 9, which is 4 9s are 36. 4 9s are 36. I hope that by now you know your tables. Let's do 5 more. Let's do 5 more. Seven c squared. 9b squared, 8bcz, 7y squared c, and 8x over, 8x over, b times, 8x over, 5b. Let's see what we can do. 7, c squared, c is 1, so it's just 7 times 1 squared is just going to be 1, 7. 9b squared is going to be 9 times b, b is 2, so it's 2 squared. Again, one more time, we get 9, 4, 9, 4 is a 36. Again, we see a z. As soon as you see a z, that's a bonus, you don't have to do any work, z is 0. So, 8 times b times c times 0 is just going to be 0. We see is 
z appearing again it doesn't matter what 7 times y squared is 7 times y squared times 0 is going to be a big fat 0 8 times x x is 5 over 5 times b which is 2 if you see 5 on the top you see 5 in the bottom if we were to divide top and bottom by 5 if we were to divide top and bottom by 5 we can knock out the 5 and then if we divide top and bottom by 2 the 2 is going to disappear it becomes 1 and and 8 becomes 4. Now, this part that we did here where 2 becomes 1, we don't actually have to show it. Everybody understands that when you knock it out, it means that there is a 1 there. Same thing here, when we knock it out, there is a 1 here. When we knock it out, there is 1 here. But we don't have to write the 1s because they don't serve any purpose. If there is nothing there, it doesn't mean that it's 0, it's just 1. So the answer is 4. That's it. Let's do 5, Let's do five more. Nine times x times z, seven times ac, four x squared, b squared minus uh, times c squared times x squared times z squared. And since they are all squared, it can also be written as it can also be written as b times c times x times z all squared. Nine times. 9 times x times z, z we know is 0, so it's just 9x times 0, which is just going to be a 0. Any quantity that times 0 is 0. 7 times a, a we know is 3, so it's 7 times 3, times c, c is simply 1. It's 21. 4x squared, 4x squared, x is 5, so it's 4 times 5 squared, 5 squared we know is 25, and 25 times 4 is going to be 100. And here, b times c times x times z, again we have c and z here, which means it's b times c times x times 0, which means here we have a 0, this quantity is going to be 0, so it's going to be 0 squared, which is a 0. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.